Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we will see how we can bypass the latest iOS 15.7.8 from iPhone 6s, 6s Plus, iPhone 7, 7 Plus, and other iPad model that support the latest iOS 15. Yesterday on my channel, I made a video on the latest iOS 16.6 bypass, and on same video, some people are requesting me to make the same method for the iOS 15.7.8 and test the tool. So we will do all that in this video so just stay tuned for that and if you want to jailbreak the latest ios 16.6 or 15.7.8 on your windows machine with the winrain method i've already made the video so you can check them out links in the description so now let me just go to my computer screen and start this process all right before the process if you want any download links of the tool you can visit my blog all the download links are there available with my videos also you can subscribe to my telegram channel for the latest news you can subscribe my secondary youtube channel that is just a tech 2.0 on that i've also uploaded some cool stuff so you can check them out so links in the description you can check out from there all right now let's proceed for the bypass for the bypass we will use this tool name lol bypass tool i know the name itself is funny but it's still working you can download it from my blogs or check out the description link after that you can simply install it on your system Now once install is done, you can run the tool and now before we do the bypass, there are some important information. This tool is completely free for now, you can use it without any registration but we don't know till when it will last for free. So maybe it will close today, tomorrow or in some month, we don't know that or maybe it will work in a free way for so many months. So all depend on tool server. So I don't know the exact date when it will last for or it will go further like free. So just do the bypass quickly. If you're seeing this video after some months and the tool stop working, do not write in a comment that it's not working. That is your fault. As I already mentioned about this. So do the bypass as soon as you can. If the tool stop, I will write it in the description for the latest update. So you can check them out before you using the tool. And the supported model list is iPhone 6s to iPhone X, iOS 15 and iOS 16 are supported. For the iPad, if you have a cellular model that will work with it, but if you have a Wi-Fi model, you will require to use the serial change method in that the DCSD cable and some model require the normal cable. So I will just write it the list of the supported devices on the screen so you can check them out and after that you can use the tool. Now once everything is set, you can connect your device. After that you will see your devices connected in the normal mode click on the enter recovery stage now once it will done your device will enter in the recovery mode and tool also detect that after that you will see the check screen window will automatically open this is only for the dfu purposes there is no need of check screen jailbreak in this method so you can put your device into the dfu mode through the check screen app and if you know how you can put your device into the dfu mode manually you can use that but i recommend you to use the check screen app for the clean dfu process so once you set with the keys you can immediately close the check screen app after that you will see the tool is detected the dfu mode now next you have to jailbreak your device inside this that required the Pelruin jailbreak that is embedded with this app so you will get the two jailbreak button one is for iOS 15 16 and another button is for iOS 15 to the 16 plus devices so you can try both this jailbreak button the one which work for you that's better so I recommend you to use the second one that is the most success rate so just click on that and wait for your device to complete the jailbreak and the Pongo OS process Now I guess the jailbreak is failed as the device is getting on and after that it will automatically get into the recovery stage that means the jailbreak is not done if the jailbreak is succeeded you will see the SH connected on the tool and your device will stay on normally so we will try the another button that is the second option that have more success rate that's why I'm telling you you can try both this jailbreak button one by one the one which works for you that is best so just keep trying that now I will just directly put my device into the DFU mode and see the jailbreak detection or not i guess it's currently still failing it's stuck on dfu mode so let me just reboot the device and start from the scratch so i will just close the tool and reopen it and then put the dfu mode and click the second jailbreak option so i've tried two three times the first jailbreak option but it's stuck on dfu mode or sometimes it's stuck on the pongo is jailbreak screen so now let's try the second option so i will just put my device into dfu mode and reopen the tool just retry the process from the scratch and it will work so 
so now this time i will select the second jailbreak option i have all done from scratch so just retry the process and it will work so now this time you will see the second jailbreak button option is working the pongo is loading on the screen of the device so that's good so now just wait for your device to complete reboot and on again on the hello screen Now once it will done your device will on again and waiting for the SSH connection so keep connected your device it will take around 20 to 30 seconds after that you will see the SSH connected and if it's not showing you can just re-jailbreak the process and after that it will show. Now once everything is set you can click on the activate device that will bypass the iCloud activation lock screen and also there is option to delete the iCloud account from the open menu and also you can stop the OTA update. So you can select the activate option and then wait for the activation. So now the tool will ask you your device is GSM or MEID so you need to select the right option it's written in the different language so you can select if you don't know your device is MEID or GSM there are many ways you can check that you can connect your device to the three tools select your model number type in the IPSW website and it will give you your device as GSM or MEID or you can check out your hello screen i button in that if you have the MEID and IMA both that means your device is MEID and the global version if you only have the IMA and serial etc then your device is GSM model so you can check that accordingly and select that so my iPhone 6s is MEID global version so I will select that now just wait for it to get complete now once the bypass done you will see your device is showing activated and the bypass is done also some external group or website will open you can just close that that is unknown website so i don't recommend you to go there so just do the bypass and ignore the other things after that you will see your device will automatically reboot and it will on to the home screen and now it's successfully bypassed you can see that and you will also get the cellular data field so just ignore it as it's normal as the baseband is preserved and there's the no sim bypass that's why it's showing that so put your device into the airplane mode connect with the wi-fi and use it and there are some i services that are working with this method so i will just show you in a minute and also this is the complete untethered method so you can reboot your device and on again without getting locked again so let me just show you So now it's on so it's completely untethered bypass also you can use some i services so let me just show you one by one so iCloud login is working i have tested and also the siri is also working so you can use the siri also some services will not work so that is the cellular thing so sim will not work also maybe the facetime will also not work so you can check that i haven't tested the facetime so sometimes it works sometimes not so maybe facetime will not work i'm not sure you can check on your site and other things like working normally you can use the app store and the device is fully untethered so these are all the things that are working and some things are not working it's a free method so you will get some limitation but still you are getting best in the free way you are bypassing the latest iOS version that's enough now and if any free method come with the cellular in future i will probably make the video but for now this is the best option you can use it on the device for free so i've tested all these things you can try it let me just reboot again to show you that it's a completely untethered method also you can save your battery life just put your device into the airplane mode turn on the wi-fi and you can save it as the baseband is not deleted yet but we have preserved that so just uh, turn on the airplane mode and after that everything is good so now you can see that the device is on again and everything is working and all the eye services is also working so you can also try this method on your device if you have a compatible device list from 6s to iphone x and other ipad that have cellular and the wi-fi ipad required the serial change so you can try this method so that is all for this video i hope you gain some knowledge and enjoying my content if yes just hit the like button and if you're new here subscribe to the channel for more cool updates i will see you in another video so till then goodbye take care and peace out